Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlsChase.com. Today we're gonna to talk about the five things that girls love to hear from you as a guy that is trying to sleep with her, someone who is sleeping with her, you're her boyfriend, husband, whatever. You wanna always be making your girl feel, well, the five things that she wants to feel. So what these are is your beautiful, sexy, smart, strong, and sweet. These are characteristics that if a woman feels she is these things, she would feel very complete as a woman. These complete her feminine essence. So she's beautiful. This is a much more elegant version of sexy, but they're kind of similar. This is her facial beauty, um, the elegance by which she expresses herself, the way she walks, the way she talks, the way she looks, the way she acts. That's beauty. Sexy is, of course, much more primal. Does she get you hard? Does she know how to make you just ooze with sexuality for her? Does she ooze with sexuality in the way that she walks and talks and she'll go from classy to slut as soon as you guys get home and you're just kissing and she can turn you on, she knows how to turn you on and she is sexy because of her body. So beautiful is more like face, think of it that way and um, sexy is more of body. Smart is, I mean everyone wants to feel smart, no one wants to feel like a fucking dumbass. So it will make her feel not only, this is like attractive physically, mostly, but mostly that's really, she, we don't give a fuck about her personality. No. You wanna make her feel special, but she really isn't. <laughs> All right, I'm a piece of shit. So she's smart, that's, <laughs> you wanna feel smart. I don't know how, how else to explain it. People wanna feel fucking smart. And the way that you do this, and I'll explain it, is you're going to be giving her compliments that are, sometimes really simple, like you're just beautiful, but of course you can express it in other ways and also in the way that you just respond to her non-verbally too, but let's get through the list. So strong, everyone wants to feel strong as they wanna feel smart. They wanna feel like they can endure things in life, they can handle when they're, uh, when they're down and they're depressed. And that would be a time when you would call her strong, like, hey babe, uh, I know you're going through a lot of tough times right now, but I just wanna say you're really handling it well and you're really awesome and I'm, I'm proud to be your boyfriend. Like, oh my God, imagine if you heard the same thing, but she was saying it to you about you being her boyfriend. Like, she was proud of you for being so strong. That makes you feel even more strong and reaffirms your strength. And then it's connected to you. So when you give her these compliments, it builds the relationship. It not only helps her self-esteem, but it's tied to you as well. I'm not saying, it, I mean, it kind of does make her attached, but you build your relationship and you build the bond that you have because you are seeing these beautiful qualities inside of her. And so she feels more beautiful when she's with you. She feels alive. And then sweet. Every girl wants to be sweet. A lot of girls, especially in our day and age, but I'm sure it's been going on since fucking we started walking. Women have this very distinct nature about them that they want to feel motherly and nurturing and they want to feel very distinct from what a man wants to feel like. We're more concerned with being strong. She's more concerned with being sweet. Everyone wants to be strong and everyone wants to be seen as nice, but guys are a little bit less, uh, they have less propensity for it. But when a woman feels sweet, uh, when she feels like she's 16 again and she has a crush on the, I don't know, the quarterback in high school, like she just wants to feel um, like she, she's gone back to her innocence and she loves you like she would uh, when she's 15 or 16. Uh, but then obviously you guys are sexually mature adults and you have that side to it, but this is very distinct within this femininity. And so she wants to feel sweet, but also she wants to feel sexy and she wants to be your slut. And so combining these things is not only just gonna happen through your words, but your actions as well. So you make a woman feel sexy by having sex with her a lot. Um, you can call her sexy all day, but if you're not getting your, uh, your dick hard for her and wanting to fuck her, she's not gonna feel sexy. She's not gonna feel beautiful if you're not always looking at her like, like you're just in awe of her. Yeah, you have her, and I'm not saying you're like a beta, like, oh my God, I'm so lucky to be with you. No, no, no. Like you just appreciate her. You know, you're walking and you just look at her. And she'll just go, what, what is it? And just look at her and say, I don't know, I'm just appreciating her, you're very beautiful. Girls light up, they go, ah, they'll literally just turn into like a sweet fucking 16 year old girl and they'll, they, they wanna feel that way. And so you make them feel beautiful by showing them with your eyes, with your hands, uh, with your words. You can just say, hey beautiful, how are you? You can always speak to her with that, that resonance and that attraction and that uh, appreciation of her beauty. Sexy, again, fucking her a lot, calling her sexy. Damn, you look good tonight. Oh my God, everyone's gonna be jealous of me. Uh, smart, when you're having a conversation with her, when you have a really good conversation, say, you know, I always appreciate talking to you. You're, you're, you're a great partner for me, but you're also a fun uh, person to talk to. Like, you're my best friend because you're really smart and I like to have conversations with you. 
she's gonna absolutely love that. She's strong, usually you wanna do that when she's going through a tough time, but sweet, you always, if she does anything for you, be like, oh baby, you're so sweet, give her a kiss on the cheek. That's, re that's one of the best ways to reward her for being sweet, and then that'll make her feel good until she'll wanna be sweet more and more and more, and she won't have that hard exterior that she puts on for the rest of the world because she needs to be tough. She needs to survive the world in many different ways. Uh, but when she's with you, she can let down that guard and she can just be sweet. And by reaffirming these qualities inside of her, uh, by sometimes putting yourself inside of her, <laughs> sex is the ultimate reward basically for making her feel any of these things. So if she seems like she's trying to be beautiful, she's wearing really nice makeup today, she's trying to be sexy, she put on an outfit, she's being really sweet to you today, she cooked you dinner, reward her with sex. That's the absolute best way that you can, sh she doesn't have to hear it, it doesn't have to be anything you say. You can say it through your words, but you can show her most uh, uh, profoundly by putting your dick inside of her and fucking her really, really good. That's gonna make her happy and it's gonna reaffirm anything she was, when girls get fucked really well, they're gonna think of whatever behavior led to that point and they're gonna be addicted to it and they're gonna wanna continue that behavior. And so you're gonna have a really nice, good relationship if you continue to amplify these qualities inside of her because she's gonna wanna amplify them herself because she wants to be seen as these things to you. She wants you to see her as beautiful. Cool. Hector Castillo Poppy from girlshaves.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, follow me on Instagram, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, check out in the description below, we have one date. It's a course that teaches you how to meet a girl and take her from meeting her to getting her number meeting her for a date, taking her home, and fucking her all in one date, hence the name One Date. So check that out in the description below. Also check out my King of College book. Uh, it's based on my college experiences and teaches you how to make friends and grow your status and blah, blah, blah. It's really good, but it's not just for college. So if you're fucking 60, it could help you make friends and meet girls in your nursing home and you'll have a good time. So check that out in the description below. Again, Hector Castillo, poppygirlshaves.com. Go fuck yourself. Bye.